hello and welcome back or just hello if it's your first time of watching any of my videos so stick around um for the next wee while if you want to hear some stuff about morning routines um and my uh my kind of journey um i'm a huge fan of that word it sounds a bit um a bit twee um but yeah just how i developed my morning routine and how i continue to tweak that <clears throat> i think actually what i might do i'm going to talk in this video generally about morning routines um or start of day routines if you're a shift worker um and then i'm going to do a separate video where i just break down my current morning routine um and how i tend to approach that so i've been thinking about this quite a lot the past couple of weeks um so my my wife has just gone back to work after being on maternity leave for just over a year um so you know yes although it's, it's obviously there's a lot of challenges that come with having children in the house generally you know when it comes to your own routines and your own stuff uh you know very much becomes about what the kids need which is uh, is totally you know it's totally right and it's totally understandable um but i've kind of had the benefit of you know my wife bearing the brunt of having to to look after the uh, you know the the wee one like the baby and um you know the slightly older boys um you know they have a reasonably predictable routine with some variation um so yeah if you go back i don't know how many years a few years i didn't really have a morning routine at all i was very much a uh you know wake up an hour before my shift was due to start kind of guy you know particularly before we had kids as well uh you know it was very you know an hour an hour and a half before with little variations in that where there would be the odd time where i'd be like i want to be the kind of person that gets up really early in the morning and goes for a run and you know does all this kind of stuff before they go to work and it just never really stuck for me um but as I kind of got to the point where I was really looking at seriously addressing my um, lifestyle, you know, I'd gone through many years of eating really well, but not really doing exercise, exercising really well, but not really addressing my eating. The overlap between those two uh, was never fantastic. So I always kind of struggled to, you know, to have kind of consistency across the board. And it was only really after I thought about it in any great detail and you know I read I listened to the audiobook version of um, Atomic Habits by James Clear and really just clicked at that point where it's consistency that's needed um, and that was kind of really where it changed for me and I also you know I saw a bit of support with it as well and you know, there's tons and tons of coaches and mentors and things out there so you can pretty much take your pick of someone that um, uh you know someone that floats your boat someone that's kind of on your level and for me that was uh that was a guy called james boardman um definitely check out his stuff um if you want the kind of no-nonsense nuts and bolts approach to your personal development you're particularly um caters towards men uh as well but i think he does coach women uh, but yeah james boardman was my uh you know, sort of coach mentor although we never met face to face i was sort of part of an online group of his for i think a couple of years um, and a lot of that is built around the frameworks in your life as well and the morning routine is a is a big one in that um so what's the you know where do you start with it essentially so i mean what's the reason for having a morning routine in the first place and really for me the, the biggest thing about it is carving out some time you know some extra time for yourself okay um so, you know, there's lots of books and podcasts and everyone talks about, you know, this is a common thing amongst you know, very successful people is that they all get up really early and all this kind of stuff. What I would say is don't put yourself under too much pressure in the first instance. Um, you know, just try and get up maybe an hour earlier, half an hour, an hour earlier and identify one thing that you want to do with that time that's going to benefit you. Um, and I would avoid it being things like, you know, you want half an hour of playing on the ps4 or the xbox or the ps5 now i'm showing how out of date i am with games consoles try and make it something that you know something that you want to do and also something that is going to benefit you in some way right so um things like you know games consoles and all that kind of stuff you're watching 
TV programs and random videos on YouTube, I personally, I think, are better done as a kind of decompressing thing at the end of your work day. So it might be that you do do those in the morning if you're a shift worker, um, but I'm more thinking of a kind of starting the day type of routine. Um, so you're carving out a little bit of time for yourself where you can spend half an hour, an hour, doing something that will benefit you. So whether that be reading a book, watching a video on YouTube, you know, a sort of, um, you know, a learning thing, a sort of personal development thing, a motivational thing, because uh, this is the other thing, you know, how you, what you expose yourself to um, is ultimately going to affect how you feel that day as well. Um, so I would certainly advocate for avoiding, you know, checking your emails and, um, you know, logging onto social media first thing in the morning. I would black all that stuff out um, and not include that in your morning routine. But I'm just thinking of some examples of things I've included in my morning routine, um, you know, over the years since I've done it. And, you know, reading, um, watching certain YouTube videos on something you know, that I'm interested in learning more about. Um, Duolingo did for a little while. Um, there's lots of examples, uh, like online courses um, and things. I've kind of tinkered with it a lot. And I know that this maybe, you know, maybe sounds like it's not a very consistent morning routine, but this is stuff that I've tried it for a consistent period of time before I've then decided to change it. Um, and ultimately now I'm uh, I try and keep my morning routine oops, fairly um, simple uh, and especially now, now my, my mornings are quite compressed and quite challenged because um, we're kind of at the mercy of, of whether the baby's awake or not. We're also uh, at the mercy of the fact that my wife has to start work quite early as well. So I now have to um, make sure that I'm available to sort all the kids out and make sure that they get to where they need to be um uh, at a specific time in the morning so that I then have time to get ready and start work as well because I mostly work from home these days which is is good um so yeah I have to kind of compress it and keep it simple um but yeah morning routines are just a you know a good way to start the day it's been one of the best changes that I've made to my lifestyle um, you know, it gives me an opportunity to do things that I don't have time to do uh, throughout the rest of the day for various reasons, just because of life and children and all this kind of stuff. So one of the biggest things you can do to change your mindset is to carve out some time for yourself. One of the best ways to do that is to get up a little bit earlier before everyone else does um, to allow that to happen. Okay, I will talk a little bit more about my morning routine and break that down further uh, in future videos. Um, obviously, I'm aware that, you know, because of the circles I've moved in over the years, uh, a lot of the people that I am kind of connected with that follow me, that read or watch any of my stuff, um, you know, might be shift workers as well. Um, and that takes a little bit of a different approach. You know, I was a shift worker for, you know, best part of a decade, you know, slightly longer than that. Um, and I didn't have a morning routine back then. And it's partly because I was a shift worker, but it's also not impossible uh, to maintain routines around that as well. It just requires a little bit more flexibility uh, and a little bit more kind of thinking and planning ahead. Um, but then you kind of need to change it from, you know, it's not a morning routine, it's a start of day routine. Um, and then evening routines, I'll, I'll probably talk about at a later date, but you know, it's a sort of start of day routine, end of day routine, rather than morning or evening routine. And it takes a little bit of thought otherwise but it's also not impossible as well it's still possible on you know late shifts and back shifts and night shifts to be able to you know do these kind of things you just need to um you know think about you know how when do I normally get up how can I get up slightly earlier than that um and also you know let's not forget you have to adjust your bedtimes accordingly as well if you're going to get up really early in the morning you can't be going to bed at you know 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock at night after, um, you know, playing 12 year olds at Call of Duty uh, on the PS4 or 5 or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to wind up there. So that's kind of morning routines in general. I'm going to come back and discuss my morning routine and break that down further um, in a future video. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had any massive revelations with your own morning routine, what works for you, what hasn't worked for you, or let me know if you've got any questions about um, my morning routine. And I will catch you in the next one.